So just wanted to talk to you today about uh, home studio acoustics, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to get into the science of it or anything like that, but my room here in particular, I just wanted to get some of the side reflections uh, taken care of. And so I just wanted to kind of fix the reflection points a little bit because it's pretty small room in here. Uh, so I spent, you know, 35 bucks on Amazon just getting some side acoustic panels. It was a pack of 12. They're uh, square foot, uh, one square foot, 12 by 12 inches. And different designs, you can get all kinds of different designs on Amazon, uh, as you can see here. Um, all kinds of shapes and sizes and uh, anyway you know they're if anything if they don't do anything at all at least they kind of look nice right I mean it is an audio room so let's try and make it look like one this video is just gonna basically answer the question or ask the question at the very least if uh, cheap acoustic panels that you can get off Amazon are worth uh, the little bit of money that you pay for it. Are they worth it or are they not? The way that we're gonna find out is by using Sonarworks Reference 4 Studio and Headphone Edition. Um, I've got a measurement mic uh, with the software and I've been using it on my uh, Mac M1 Mini. Uh, it works perfectly despite many people saying, don't upgrade, you know, don't get the M1, anything like that. Yes, it's run. It's got the Apple silicone chip in it. It's running the latest edition of Mac OS 11, uh, Big Sur, and I haven't had any issues with it. It's worked perfectly. I've done a measurement before hanging the panels, and I'll do another one after hanging the panels, and then you'll see what the difference is and whether or not it makes sense for you to purchase those for your own studio. Otherwise, let's get right into it. This is pretty much what I had in mind here. So this is the acoustic panels that I got. So they're they're pretty square. They've retaken their shape. Uh, this was a pack of 12 that I got. To give you an idea of what my room reflections are like. So you can see I've got a, a speaker here, uh, another one there obviously. But uh, the speaker there, if this is my listening position, I'm gonna have a reflection point right around that area on my closet doors. And those are just hollow panel doors, so I wanna seal that up as best I can. And then same thing on, on the other speaker on, on this wall over here. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to do was just put a couple of, um, a couple of those panels in between the guitars up on the wall there as well, just to put them across. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna use these to hang them up and we'll see how easy that is. So that's my pile of ends that I'm left with. My reflection point on my right uh, against this speaker, so uh, bounces off of there. Maybe it'll dim some of it before it hits me over here. And then of course I've got uh, these ones up here <clears throat> in the top there, just between the guitars and hopefully that'll help the rear reflection. And yeah, oh, and then of course I've got uh, these ones over here too. Um, just against the left speaker reflection, so hopefully that'll dampen. I'll do the Sonarworks Reference 4, and we'll compare the EQ curves and see if that did anything at all. So, 
got a chance to measure the room out. Um, basically what I did was I took a snapshot, like just a screen cap of the Sonarworks 4 EQ curve of my room before putting the panels up. I mean, there's lots of, there's so many different things to consider. There's the furniture in your room to consider, the size of your room to consider. There's, um, you know, do you have any odd shaped walls? Uh, the ceiling height? Do you have any other acoustic treatment in your room? Lots of things to consider. Um, the speakers that you have, the monitors that you have set up, what are, what are those like? How far away from the wall are they? Are they curved? Are they pointed straight out? That's kind of what we're looking at today is, you know, did these panels actually do anything? So let's have a quick look here. Uh, I'll show you the two snapshots that we have. So the snapshot on top here, uh, this one right here, this is the Sonarworks EQ print of my room after hanging up the panels. The one in black is the EQ curve before the panels. So I lined them up over top of each other so we can kind of easily see what the differences are. And I mean, just out of the gate, if you look at pretty much everything under 250 hertz, there's almost no difference whatsoever. Okay, so it's not doing anything for our low EQ in the room, really not doing anything. And I expected that. These aren't really thick panels. They're only an inch, inch and a half, something like that. What it did do is it kind of uh, changed things around the 300, 350 hertz range for me, the low mids, which, uh, I mean, the mids always need help. <laughs> so um, for me, it did change that quite uh, a little bit. So you can see um, before the acoustic panels, if you look at the blue lines here, that's before, and then the green lines is the correction that's been applied. If you can see here right about 330 hertz, right around there, um, I had kind of a, a little roller coaster thing happening here between 100 to 330. Went up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, same thing after, but I lost that slope here, that little bump right around 330, uh, it nullified that. Um, the other thing is I noticed um, it smoothed out the right side, uh, which I wanted because the right side was actually the side that had um, the most reflection came off the closet on my right side. So I, I wanted to address that more than the left side uh, because the walls are a little bit different. There's a bump along the windowsill there and I've got acoustic paneling hanging up on this side of the wall, and I didn't really have anything on that side. So that's the area that needed the most correction. And so you, it definitely did that. Um, you can see that in the, in the EQ curve. It definitely corrected the right side more than the left. The left looks almost identical as it did before, but the right side looks a lot different. So after the panels, it didn't lose the mid-range as much as it had before. And then uh, if you could see to 1K here, uh, this slope is way steeper than this slope. So I, I didn't have a whole lot of mid-range happening before the panels, and it took a while for me to gain that 2 3D separation there. Again, this was all like mid-range correction, and that's fine. Uh, everything after, say, 3K, uh, didn't really do a whole lot. It did around 3 to 4K, but definitely after 5K up to 10K, didn't change a thing, not a single thing. So that's fine. So answering the question, are the panels worth it? Well, that's really going to be up to you in your room because your room's going to be completely different than mine. It might do absolutely nothing in your room because you have a huge room and these panels are just too small to make any impact. In a smaller room like this, uh, they make a little bit of a bigger impact because, I mean, let's be fair, the square footage in this room is, is smaller. And so having 12 square feet of acoustic paneling on the reflection points is going to make a small difference. And that's great for me. So this is just to show you that whether or not they actually do anything. And it looks like they do. My room is about 100 square feet. Not big at all. 10 by 10, pretty much a square. Uh, and my ceiling's about eight and a half feet high. So is 50 bucks worth it? Again, that's all in the eye of the beholder. You can get them, you can hang them up, take a room measurement, see if they help in any way. Do I think they're gonna help my mixes in any way? Who knows, that's, that remains to be seen. 
I'm sure it will make a little bit of a difference in the mid-range because that's what it kind of smoothed out a little bit. Um, I'll put the links in the description below so you guys can check these out and uh, order them if you're so inclined to do so. Again, this video is just showing you whether or not they actually do anything at all in a small bedroom studio, which in this case they do. Thanks for being here and checking this video out. I uh, hope it helped you in any way. If it did, uh, or you like the work that went into the video, just hit that like button below letting YouTube know. Thanks for being here. Uh, keep making music.